Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham and you're Sipping with a Wine Fox. With me today is 2014 rendition Oakville Cabernet Sauvignon. It is aged 20 months in tight grain French oak, 20% of which was new, 80% was two to three year old barrels, full malolactic fermentation, no fining, no filtering. Do you know what this is? It's wine. That's right. It's wine. No Isinglass, no Sparkaloid, no Bentonite, no Gelatin, no Mega Purple. It's just wine and it's glorious. Mm. It's sourced from a four acre vineyard at Route 29 and Oakville Cross. Neighboring vineyards include Robert Mondavi's Tokalon, Oakville Winery and Lavendi. Talk about premium viticultural real estate. Yeah, pretty amazing. The yield was three tons per acre and the 2014 vintage yielded small berries, which means a high skin to juice ratio which results in a concentrated and flavorful, delicious cab. I would say this is old world balance with a little bit of new world flair. It is not your typical Oakville cab. It has much more finesse and restraint than that. It's under $40 a bottle. Only 200 cases were produced. Um, I get fresh plum, blackberry, dried herbs like thyme, rosemary, and mint, and sage. There's a beautiful uh, dried herbal note to this that is just absolutely gorgeous. The fruit is just perfect. The balance is perfect. A little bit of spice from the oak. I do want to point out something, that the bottle is heavy and weighty, like you would expect from an Oakville cab. It has a really deep punt and heavy. It makes you think that there's much more wine in the bottle throughout the night than there really is. And I had this with dinner, which was a sous vide short ribs finished in a red wine reduction and served over celery root puree, which was a fantastic pairing. This wine would pair with fare such as that. It doesn't need a big steak. It can go with much um, more refined, lighter fare like what I had. But anyway, heavy glass bottle this is all I have left. I am really bummed. This was a fantastic bottle and I definitely want to buy more. I'd like to buy a few bottles and lay it down and see how it evolves over time. It's ready to drink now, but I also think it would age beautifully. Winemaker's name is Nick Goldschmidt. When I pulled the cork, it had a Goldschmidt cork, beautiful cork. He's one of my favorite winemakers. He uh, grows grapes, makes wine, and he does it all well. And to that, closing out with rendition, 2014 Oakville Cabernet Sauvignon, I say cheers and carpe uvum.